Welcome to this video which takes a look at installing LangGuardian on an ESX host. My name is Dara Delaney from Netfort. Now for this video we're going to actually use an ISO file to install LangGuardian. So let's talk first about the architecture of what we're trying to do here. Well I've got an ESX server and what I want to do is install LangGuardian as a virtual machine. Now during the install we're going to cover in a couple of minutes we're going to assign two virtual NICs, two virtual network cards. One of them will be just connected into whatever vSwitch is already there. And we're going to give it an IP address so when we're on our desktop we can connect to this LAN Guardian. But the second network interface, the second virtual NIC, will be connecting it, connected into a second virtual switch, which we'll set up. And that virtual switch is mapped to a physical NIC. What we're going to do then is we're going to connect that virtual NIC to our core switch. Just regular patch cable back to our core switch and we're going to set up a span port. What it means is that traffic coming from this span port comes in through this physical NIC, through this new virtual switch and into the LAN Guardian for processing. So if we take a 30,000 foot view of this, what we're trying to do is get our LAN Guardian installed on the ESX server have our physical cable coming in here out to our core switch and as users go on the internet access file servers or whatever they're doing on the network a copy of that traffic is sent in here through the spam port through the virtual switch for processing on the Netfort LAN Guardian. So let's now move on and get first step which is to get LAN Guardian installed. First up I need to download LAN Guardian software and to do that, go to netfor.com, click on the download option. Once you uh, complete the form, you'll see you have three versions. There's USB, an ISO image, and an ESX virtual machine. Now, if you're deploying an ESX, we do recommend you use this pre-built virtual machine. And it comes with a wizard, so it's very easy to get up and running. For this video, I'm going to use the ISO image um, to install it on ESX. It gives me more control over the resources. But again, we recommend using the virtual machine pre-built and there is a link at the bottom of this video if you're watching this on YouTube uh, which will link to the other video which explains how to use this wizard but for this I'm going to go download the ISO trial version here and store that file on my on my local disk what I need to do then is go to the vSphere client connect to the ESX server Just click on the server itself, go into configuration, on the data store, right click, go to browse data store and click the option here to upload a file. This is my ISO file which I've downloaded so I just upload that file onto that data store. And once this completes I can start now the, um, the installation process. So we just create a new virtual machine. I'm going to go with the custom option here. Give it a name. I'm going to call it LangGuardian. I just have one data store, so I'm going to store it there. Um, leave it on virtual machine 11. It's fine. From the operating system, choose Linux and choose CentOS 64-bit. I'm going to give it two CPUs. Uh, for me, I um, would recommend that you have um, at least four gigabytes of memory. More memory the better, but I'm going to go with four. Now I'm going to need two network cards. I'm going to leave one disconnected for the moment. And from the adapters, that's fine, we'll just leave it at that. We'll revisit the network setup later on, but the most important thing right now is that you add two network cards. Just leave the disk stuff, is fine. Disk size, we would recommend 100 gigabytes. For, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna go with 40. And we wanna go in here and edit this before we complete. 
And what I want to do is, on the CD DVD here, choose the option for the data store ISO file, and select that ISO that you uploaded previously. So use their connected power on, so the thing will boot up off the CD. And now we're ready to power up the Langardian and go through the installation. So now we'll go to the console here. And as you can see, it's booting and preparing the installation. So we type yes, we want to continue. We just have one disk, type in number one and press return. Are we sure we want to install? Yes. I just have the one connected at the moment, network card, so we choose number one. We'll give it an IP address. I'm going to go with 10, that one, that one, that 201. Submit mask. Default gateway is OK. DNS server. And that's fine to install. So it's a two-step process. This is the first step. Um, we get the software installed onto the disk. And the second phase, or the second part of the install is where we set things like uh, GUI passwords, um, set up Active Directory if we need to, and make sure that we're getting traffic. OK, so while that's installing, and we'll come back to it shortly, in fact, I'll just wait for this to complete and reboot it. And what I want to move on to is to set up my span port or get traffic into this LAN Guardian. So I've already got, um, if I just move this here, I've got VM Nick already um, set up. That's my management interface for the ESX host. I have three network cards available. One of them is down, VM Nick 0. So the one I'm going to use is actually VM Nick 2 because it's connected. And remember back to my diagram earlier in the video, this is the one I've got connected back to the span port. Okay, so this physical network card is going back to my core switch, and that I've got my span port set up on that. So I just tick the box here from VMNIC2. Let's go next. We've got a label here, this, this one, so I'm going to call it monitoring switch. Set the VLAN here. Important step, but make sure you set that to 4095. That's a special VLAN that's used for monitoring purposes. So if it's not in the drop down, just type in 4095. Very important step, don't forget to do this. Just click on next and click finish. Okay, so I've got that set up. Before I move away from here, I need to click on properties. Just click on the switch here, click on edit. Go to security and make sure you select the option here from promiscuous mode to accept. So this allows systems that do network traffic analysis to capture network packets from this virtual switch. So be sure to enable promiscuous mode. OK that and close. Now before I move away from the networking setup, next thing I need to do is just right click LangGuardian. There's different ways you could do it, but just right click the machine and revisit the network adapter. So we've the network adapter number one is used for the management of the system. And network adapter number two, which we're now going to connect, we're going to put it on the monitoring switch. Okay. And we OK that. And that's the networking piece uh, finished. Back on the console, it tells us to go to our browser. So let's do that. And we need to go to the IP address. And we now complete the installation here. So we agree to licensing terms. Let's click on next. We've got to double check network settings here. So it's checking itself. What it's doing is it's seeing if it can connect to the internet, which it can. So it's passed that test. If you had a proxy, you could set it here as well. But mine is OK. I'm going to go continue. So we now it's checking the. Um, interface that we've connected into our span port. So it's found some traffic on it, as you can see here, the graphic, that it is detecting some traffic on that interface. So not a huge amount of traffic, but just traffic nonetheless. So that's fine by me. Just click on Finished. 
and we'd log on. So we've got a welcome message there, just dismiss that. And now while you don't see any results yet on the dashboards, just give it about five minutes when it first um, gets a chance to process some data. And then you could start to click through the dashboards and run reports. Now, I'm not gonna cover this video. Again, there's a link at the bottom of this one, which we go through a quick introduction to LangGuardian, just looking at reports, looking at dashboards, and pointing out where you can configure Active Directory. But that's your LangGuardian system installed on ESX using the ISO um, install media. If you need any more information about using LangGuardian, please go to our website, network.com, and if you go to the resources section where you can get manuals and links to other videos, or go to contact us, where you'll see a link to our forum, and also some information on how to contact our support team.